Hi gorgeous soul, welcome to your weekly astrology. I'm wearing the sunglasses because I've got the light shining right in my face, so forgive that. But anyway, here we are at such an exciting week. Yes, we haven't had this astrology for 500 years. It's full on, it's intense. It's quite a heavy lesson, but an opportunity for liberation as we have the Sun and Pluto joining forces. Ah, it's full on and intense, but it gives us a message of what's to come. On top of that, we have a very emotional full moon and lunar eclipse. Here's your weekly astrology. Hi, gorgeous Gemini, how are you doing? This week is about money and power, sense of security within your very soul and making changes so that you feel powerful, so that you cast out your fears and the limiting beliefs that have kept you trapped and fearful. It's very intense, we cannot ignore it. We have to go through, through the tunnel and into the lights of freedom. I don't know why I'm talking like that. <laughs> anyway, you catch my drift. It's a very, very full on week. Now the full moon is in your position of security, but also value. Have you not been valuing yourself? Have you not been realizing your own worth? How are your relationships? Are they equal? Do you feel equal? Well, not just the full moon and that eclipse, which is revealing very, very clearly how emotionally stable you feel and, and but more importantly, how you can manifest a sense of feeling secure in your own world and digging firm foundations that will see you through. On top of that, we have the Saturn and Pluto conjunction in your position of the eighth house, which is life, death, rebirth, sex, obsession, money, power. And your task and your soul lesson for the next year, starting this week, is, is how much you value yourself and how much fear has held you back. You know, a lot of us are suffering from anxiety at the moment and panic attacks and this, that and the other. It is an epidemic. But often, you know, we can cling on to these things and yet there is a way through. I'm not saying it's a way through that it'll be totally gone, but we shift layers of our fears and we gradually step into our power and we can release the illusions that are holding us back. So if there's something that has been holding you back connected to a really primal issue, you have the opportunity to start healing it this week and to see exactly where it came from and how to transform it. You are about to come into your power should you choose to do it, but you, you will have to be courageous. You will have to have the courage to know your value and know your worth, to step into your sexuality, to step into being equal to everyone, knowing that you are equal and going, you know what? I am a powerful being. I can't remember that quote, which actually Marion Williamson wrote. That Some people say Nelson Mandela uh, wrote, but it is actually Marion Williamson, which is about, you know, our fear is, is not, you know, weakness. Our fear is our magnificence. I've totally got that wrong, but you catch my drift. Is your fear your magnificence? You know, you are magnificent. You will be shown that this week and this year. But if you resist it, it's going to be harder for you. So embrace that. Look at anything that you've been avoiding and, and use it as fuel to fire you forward. You have got this. It's going to be an intense week, but it is one that could liberate you and, and show you that there isn't anything to fear and that it's your time now. Take care, gorgeous, and I'll speak to you soon. If you want to check out your written monthly, weekly, yearly astrology, pop over to my website, michellenight.com. I'm not doing readings at the moment, but I do have a company of some of the best psychics and astrologers in the world. I've had the company for 20 years. I handpick them and they are fabulous. So I'm gonna to start to show you, starting now, their little videos on here. I'm Martha. I work clairvoyantly and mediumistically. Well, over the telephone, it is different to reading in person. Like my clear audience and clear sentience is heightened. I usually will ask you what you'd like to focus on. Part of the foundation of the way I work, the more focus, the more clarity you get. My priority is to connect to your truth and through that to help you and guide you to be the best version of yourself you can be and have the best life that you can have. My personal opinion in a reading is completely irrelevant. 
What you're left with after a reading is more the interpretation of what's been said. It's very important and I work in that foundation to make it sure that you understand the information and the guidance that's given to you before the reading's closed. If they leave the reading seeing just 10% of the magic that I see in them, then I, then I feel I've uh, done my job as a psychic.